Advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. What a tremendous uh, defensive effort that was. It's a great game. Um, so proud of this team. And I told him we want to celebrate the victories around here because you know we, we talk about not winning this first quarter, that second quarter, that. Uh, it's hard to win football games, and uh, these guys play their hearts out. And we're going to celebrate this win um, because it is, it is an accomplishment that when you're playing a top top 15, top 20 team, that uh, you, you need to celebrate. It, you know, so we're going to enjoy this one. Um, and then take a look at what we need to do to get better. But uh, I'm not going to beat these guys up because we won against a very good team. Yeah, you know, John, if, if you uh, were watching probably the, if you look at the tomorrow's, uh, um, you know, spread or, or, or tomorrow's stats and you see the, you know, the, the, the runs and the throws, if you weren't at the game and you didn't see the significance of those third down runs or, or the runs he got first downs, extending the drives, then you wouldn't have a, an appreciation of, of uh, him managing the game and playing well. So that's, that's a credit to him being a, you know, a, a senior, being a leader. Um, huge part of what we did was uh, based on how Eric managed the game. We dropped, you know, we dropped enough footballs for him that uh, could have made his statistical passing part um, even better. But uh, as I said, um, he, he managed the team well, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very satisfied with, with, with what he did. Well, you know, these guys are both defensive players, and we practice ball disruption drills all the time. We talk about the value that it adds. And you take the ball away, you add to your possessions offensively. And um, I, was telling, uh, I was telling Park here that uh, what are the odds of a guy intercepting a ball around the same area that he did last time, but this time scored? He said he was going to score on that. We had him go through some agile bags uh, to make sure he didn't get tripped up, but uh, he showed he had running skills and, uh, and, and ran it in. But um, these guys hunt the ball, and this was a critical game. I thought it was going to be a game of possessions, turnovers, and then a, a field position. And I think our average start was like around the 54-yard line for field position, so I thought that was going to be critical because, again, this is a team that beat you know New Hampshire last week. It's a very good football team, and um, we, just, we were just the better team today. Well, you, you never feel relaxed until zero 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 on the on the on the on the clock. But you, you do get a sense of, of how you're playing and uh, and how the, the players are playing and executing the game plan. So um, you never can relax uh, because teams can always you know hit a play on you. You could fumble the ball, you know, down down coming out, and all of a sudden the circumstances change. So we just wanted to keep the pressure on them and make them to continue to execute. You know, towards the end we put a lot of our reserves in and. You could have gone the route to keep a lot of the guys in and try to keep the points down, but you know those guys practice and uh, they deserve to have an opportunity to get in and play also. Chris, the offense taking advantage of the short field provided by the defense had feel good. I mean, short, short drives. It, it, it was critical. I mean, it was critical because then at least you can get you can say, look, we can get three points out of this, or at least you can pooch punt it and, and back them up. So it speaks to the significance of the field position. Uh, again, when you get it, you know, when you get it, where we got it, um, and then you know, and I think we, as far as a red zone score, we're, we're pretty good for red red zone scores there. So, um, you know, if you can do that, then uh, then you get an opportunity to, to add some add to some points, and and um, th luckily and thankfully for defensive effort, we were able to do that. Yeah, you know, we, we but you know what? We, we're the unsung hero. We don't mind. These guys don't mind, you know, being uh, Tonto. They, they let the offense be long ranger. You know, we, we uh, they work hard at it. And, you know, we had a shutout and we had, a, uh, you know, a multi turnover game, as you as you alluded to. This is what we do. Defensive is what you do. You create turnovers to give the offense a chance to score. 
And, um, and when you can do that, then you got a chance to win games. And I know these guys, all we're worried about is, is winning games. As long as it rained on both sides, and we, all of us, both teams were obligated to handle the ball or make execute the plays. And I think, uh, you know, we played in, we played in so many element, you know, rain, snow, whatever it is, we, we played played in it. And um, this week in practice, there were a couple of, uh, there was a day that we had to go out and it was raining. So it's just, uh, you know, you just, you just have to be able to execute and then hunt the ball because you know that, you know, with the snaps and with the throws that the ball continues to get heavy and there's just different things that happen. And then um, you just got to be aware of where that ball at, where is at. And these guys did a great job again of hunting the ball. Does anything change? Because you talk about playing in the elements, and today you almost played in all of them, and it was changing every five minutes. What happens strategically, or do you change anything strategically when the weather becomes not just wet, but I mean unpredictable? It'll be dry, then it's windy, then it's rainy, then it's cold. No, you have to manage the game as it goes on, and that's part of my job is to make sure that we're punting into the wind, what kind of punts. If we're kicking off into the wind, what kind of kickoffs? If we're kicking with the wind, or we're punting with the wind, if it's third and long and they got to throw against the wind, or it's third and whatever, they got to throw with the wind. I mean, you just got to manage the game because the elements do dictate to that. And as you saw in the snapping situation, it was, you know, it, it was huge. Uh, our, our, their snapper and our snapper. So, um, but you know, we managed to uh, not let our situations affect us as much as, as theirs, and, and we had a lead, so uh, we we gave them the uh, the two points there. It was what five points, and so. It's just one of those things that, you know, as long as both teams have to play in the element, both of us are expected to execute, and I think we just did a better job today. Coach, going back to strategy the last two weeks, you were behind halftime, so how does the strategy change when you have a big lead at half as opposed to playing from behind? Well, you know, it, it's the, the thing is, is we go out and we try to win football games. We try to play to the best of our ability. We try to convert. And uh, sometimes it doesn't happen like that. And it's easy for you to, for, to get down on yourself and, and be self-reflective about you know, what you're not doing the first half or the second half. As I've always said, it's hard to win games. And then when, but you, when you recognize and you have a moment to capitalize on a turnover or on a uh, uh, you know, field position issue and you do it, I think that's the mark of a good team. And this is a good team. Um, and you know, I just... Uh, it's a tribute to the, the players, these guys here and Justin and the coaches that make those situations very aware to the players that when this happens or when the ball's on this side of the field or when this guy lines here, be alert and be ready for this. And, you know, unfortunately towards the end, we were playing some young guys and, and, and the guy missed a, missed a signal for a coverage and they caught a touchdown. And, and so the average, the, the casual fan would be like, ah, you guys gave up a, an easy touchdown. but. As I said before, I mean, those guys deserve to play, too. Their parents come to the game, and they want to see them play. And if we have a lead like that, then we're going to, we're going to give them opportunities to play.